my name is Kevin. I'm a tutor at Queller Prep. I am currently a sophomore at NYU Stern, where I'm double majoring in finance and accounting. I currently have a 4.0 GPA there. I graduated from Stuyvesant High School last year, and I, I scored a 22.30 on my SATs. So here at Queller Prep, I'm here to tutor basically anything that you would like me to, whether that is calculus, or if it's just any part of the SATs, I'm very confident at tutoring those. I also scored a perfect 800 on my SAT Math 2C exam, as well as a 720 on the Physics subject test and a 710 on the Chemistry subject test. I also went through the honor sequence at Stuyvesant and I scored a perfect 5 on the Calculus BC AP exam. My SAT score breakdown was that I received a 760 on math, which was the curve with one wrong. I scored a 740 on critical reading, and I scored a 730 on writing. My largest advice, since it seems that most people have trouble with critical reading, my advice is reading about 10 newspaper articles a day. What I've found is that since I started reading those newspaper articles, I started to have a lot better knowledge about the world, and it gave me a a lot more intellectual things to discuss with people. It's, it's especially helpful when you go on college interviews so that you have something to talk about that you can be proud of. And it also helps later on in the world when you actually go on um, real job interviews. But more so, it really helps build your vocabulary and that's what's relevant to your SAT. I found that my vocabulary increased a lot and I started to speak a lot better once I started to know what was going on in the world and once I started to learn better vocabulary. My long-term goals intertwined with what my short-term goals. Well, my short-term goals are to go into a top MBA program so that I can get a better business education and better networking so that I can ultimately start my own company. And with the proceeds from that company, I would like to use the proceeds to further education in third world countries, especially in the region of Africa. I believe that if we build the infrastructure there for education, it will create a much more competitive workplace. And through that, it will encourage scientists and basically innovators to build companies there. And from that, the world will become more connected with each other.